They've put me in charge of train management. What a mistake. Welcome to Railgrade. Railgrade and Epic so kindly reached out to sponsor today's video, so I'm going to do my best not to blow up the planet, which I think I just need to switch that track. I can ride the train? How neat is this? Railgrade is a lovely management sim. Your whole point is to use a bunch of trains and railways to deliver power, water, limited edition Neon Genesis Evangelion action figures. Of course, I get annoying messages from my micromanaging boss. Let me do my job. I know how to manage a train. What does this guy need? Two iron and two coal, because that gives me two steel. Huh. Oh, and with enough money, I can just upgrade these things and buy workers to make sure everything runs. Yeah, no, nah, that, that makes sense. Here I thought everything was going to be automated, but nope, needing people after all. Don't worry, friends. The entire point of the game is to construct intricate railway networks, and I will do just that. Of course, we can't forget the stations. Trains have to dock somewhere. Can I just dismantle this mountain pretty much? Yes. Well, now, isn't this efficient? Buy the boiler fill it with coal. And I can choose the color cyanidus. Along with creating these railway networks, you kind of have to manage the input and outputs to make sure you're getting the most optimal amount of production because you want to create efficient supply chains, be it unique engine types or multi-level tracks. Or maybe this guy's just using the power of friendship. I guess I could see what happens whenever I upgrade these things, huh? Are they just working that much harder? Sounds good to me. What's this? I've been cutscened. I'm assuming that means I did a good job. Oh, yeah, I won. See? <laughs> I knew everything would be fine. Dear God, what happened here? Well, I repair this. I think now's a great time to mention that if you want to also repair a little bit of tracks, because let's face it, these things need help, the game will be available in the Epic Game Store and the Nintendo Switch. I feel like I have fixed this beautifully. Wait, the trains are on a collision course? Hang on. Instead, one will pass through each other. Oh. Huh. I've realized I can just add a bunch more resources to my train to then make the mega train. Because my primary goal is 15 water per minute. Well, what if I had another train all the way over here, huh? Because now I'm at 9 water per minute. All right, keep it going. 9.3. I guess I can also use a mega train at this water pump. I haven't really been looking. Oh, yeah, and I can upgrade the levels. That should help dump water a lot quicker, right? And by completing this two-way track, these trains should stop having to go through each other. Come on, we're so close. 1.3 more. Are you going to do it, tiny little train man? by chance? No? Well, that's why you're getting another water pump and an engine. Same with you. I am pretty much broke, but I feel like I'd- yep, that's a perfect clear. We needed you, and you delivered. Of course I did. I'm amazing at what I do. Oil overflow? Well, this can't be good. Huh, looks like I can start drilling for oil. So I deliver everything to the Zeppelin dock, and then that takes it where it needs to go. All right, so if I set up four stations next to both these oil wells, I believe I can then make a track that loops kind of like this, because then I think I can do something similar on that side. One boiler, three things of crude oil, another boiler, and I'll just make two more of those. So now this is a perfect looping circuit, and this one I don't even have to do anything funky. Why is there a water spring right here? And there's a steam vent up here. There's a geothermal thing, but I'm not too confident on how I place it down. Oh well, might as well upgrade these oils. Wait a second, I just realized I'm supposed to be exporting energy. I need to take it to the power plant. I'm sorry, Mr. Train, here you go. I didn't mean to neglect you. I'm just forgetful. It kind of makes me wonder with my vouchers, I bought this thing. The custom engine, I think, is just better. Give me it. Can I now buy custom engines? So if I do one of those, five crude oils and another custom engine, my train should be running at max efficiency now. And same for you. Oh yeah, look at how fast that guy's going now. So now that I'm making energy, I should be able to custom engine and send these guys on their way. Now I'm not really making the most amount of money, but everything is set. Let's talk catalyst. Ooh, if there's one thing I love, it's making everything go faster. Oh look, and there's water pump, except I need a thousand dollars. I do not have that. Let me place the train. There we go. Now he should enter in and drop water off there. And then through the world's most complicated process. Wait, where'd my water guy go? There he is. I'll hopefully be able to switch him to go back to the water place. No, I lost him again. There he is. Run down here, go left. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm confused. I think there's only one clear solution. Demolish it all. I've got my energy selling train back, crude oil dumping stuff at the oil power plant. So now I think I'm set to just finalize a water freight train to have its own little path. This is much less railroad mess, much more efficient. How fun. I can upgrade stuff even more. Little do you know game, I've already used these voucher upgrades. <laughs> 
Oil power plant upgrade? Sure. Why is it nighttime? Graded. I'm broke. Can't afford. That's fine. I'm making almost $800 a second, I think, or however long that is. I also optimized these guys so they stop ghosting into each other. Now I have a very, very long train. Let's follow it. This is always fun. Oh, first person view? Are you kidding me? This is actually quite nice. All right, get upgraded. What a flawless execution. Oh, and now I can just use these things forever? Workhorse engine. Oh, and they have optional regions? Man, this can't get enough. Mix oil and water. I don't think that's possible. All right, I'm ready to become just the train god. City demands are water, salt, wire, and steel. It's usually what I have for dinner. Well, if I just make a gigantic train track, I should be able to get my custom engine, five things of water, and another custom engine. And that should deliver it flawlessly. I can also start putting oil at the power plant, but then I think even more so just using a workhorse one this time. There we go, using the same track as last time, I also have more trains running to deliver water. Oh yeah, let me assign people for this too, huh? I can deposit money to earn interest? It's just like real life. Thank you, bank. This is fine. Oh, it looks like my city's actually growing. I'm assuming that's thanks to the giant things of water that I'm depositing constantly. Sounds like my best bet might just be placing more trains. All right, give me all my money. Money back give me a thousand dollars extra what i need to do is get another water pump down and have this train come right into it and then i can just do that again i'm kind of flat broke because of that but these guys will have all the water they need anyways i knew it well, they have new demands they need energy now too it's a good thing they're already getting that oh i leveled up the fireworks how pretty let's withdraw more money what's the worst that happens i die probably actually yeah i just gotta put oil in oil plant Therefore, a little track like this, and then like this, means I can have trains deposit thoroughly. Now for the big fun part. Just pretty much making a giant track that goes all the way down, touches on one of these oil wells, and then connects in. Actually, wait a second. Do something a bit more roller coastery like this. Now you can see my train's path will connect it to the station, ride the railing all the way back into its own oil supply. And this train will do the same thing, just on a little bit of a different loop. Then you have one silly little energy train right here to make sure I'm actually making money. Because <laughs> otherwise, I would just die. And then I just made a gigantic figure eight. Also, this one tiny little train could ride it all the way back. But the secret is I will be smacking another oil well down. And you know what? Let's make you yellow. Oh, I'm kind of broke. Where's the bank at? Need a loan? Yes, I do. Gimme. Now my profits are starting to roll in. 325, quickly slap another boiler engine on this train. There we go. <laughs> the issue I'm currently having is just speed. Some things are slow and I need to fix that even if it means abusing the capitalistic society and not paying the banks back on time. What are they gonna do about it? I'm a sentient little camera floating around. I realize I also only need one station at the Zeppelin docks, which will save me more money overall. See, you can already see that I'm starting to save up a little bit. This oil plant is full. <laughs> My trains just have leftover oil slapping on the back of them. Banks can lend you more money. Yeah, but they're already taking 78 whatever that currency is because of the loans I have to pay off. That's why I don't have enough money to buy another engine. I should now be working at an efficiency akin to three bulls. Why I chose bulls over horses? Well, that's for me to know and me alone. Pretty nice too, since there's only one station, these guys can usually stock up all four energies every time that they actually land because this is working at 100% speed and these guys are depositing oil at a nice rate pretty much what I'm trying to say is I think life is getting a little bit better I wouldn't quote me on that but still here you go have a custom engine then do you really need three engines to pull three tiny little things Bruh. absolutely do I do it anyways so it rushes over here faster, thus earning me a better profit margin? Yeah, 100%. Are you kidding me? A few moments later. It's been a little bit, and I've saved up $2,000, so I'm just going to deposit all of it into the bank, because that should pay off my interest debt, and I should actually start earning a little bit more. I think for these really long guys, too, I'm just going to make it where they have five crude oil deposits and four engines. That will, however, be costing me money, but it should pay itself off. Look at how fast this train is. Actually, I can see almost 90 kilometers an hour. Why is it taking the weird way? Why did that get switched? You know what? Accidents happen. I'll just simply not dwell on it. Are you going the right way now? Yes. Make sure you're going. Okay. Being the manager of a bunch of sentient trains, not as easy of a job as one might actually think. I think now my trains are also too fast that they're not getting the proper amount of oil. So to fix that, I'll just destroy a couple of stations. It's seems counterintuitive but it'll probably work also what am i doing crude oil stations can only have four in storage anyways my trains don't need five of anything looks like i'm actually starting to make the proper amount of money i need to be making them and eventually i'll make over two thousand
$2,000, which means I can throw $2,000 into the bank. You ever heard of the phrase passive income from someone who you don't want to punch in the face? Probably not, but that's what I'm abusing right now. It works well enough. So I put $5,000 into the bank, and as you can see, it costs me like $185 every minute to keep my trains up and running, but the interest is earning me 200. Meaning if I sit here for seven minutes, all this revenue, well that goes right into my back pocket. So I'll catch you in just a little bit. Two hours later. Well, I have over $9,000, meaning I can actually start upgrading my oil wells to, oh, they hold eight now? Cause that should be everyone upgraded. And now it sounds like the game wants me to just place eight crude oils and a bunch more engines. Cause then we can really get things going efficiently. Oh yeah, a bit more stations probably helps too. I don't think, oh no, it gets up to seven. That's really not half bad. I do think it's time for me to do something that I've been wanting to do for a bit though. And I will sell both of these trains for it. Get one thing of crude oil, and then I just want however many engines I can put on a train. How fast can I get this guy to go? Break a hundred? No? Dang it. Simple. Just add more engines. I will break a hundred kilometers an hour with you or else. It's just a giant thing. <laughs> it's the world's most inefficient train. How heavy can one tub of oil be? I promise you this, it'll get there pretty fast though. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna gain a decent amount of speed on that little down lip, but this is where I'll get it all. Come on, a hundred, please. No. Is there laws that prevent me from doing this? Man, whenever you're being a sentient god flying high above the sky, you really don't see how beautiful this game is. Into the station. Go, go, go. Whee! <laughs> How fun. All right, get rid of that train. I messed up and replacing this guy had to reverse him around. I'm at 249 out of 256. I'll give you guys two more boiler engines. Get there quicker. I'm an impatient man above all else. Five more. This little guy's bringing me three. Thank you. And then this should be the last little bit I need for the quest. Oh, I have done it. No one engineers a train better than I can. Once again, huge shout out to Railgrade and Epic Games for sponsoring this video. I highly recommend to get the game for yourself send them your own forms of jumbled tracks whatever they'd love to see it as for me i've still got this demon to face <laughs>